Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about one of my favorite features. Finally, we have macOS and iOS compatibility getting better and better every single day. And it started with this cool little feature that is on our Mac and on our iOS 18 version. What I'm talking about is iPhone mirroring on Mac. Now this is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and talk about how to use this feature and how will you able to enable this feature on your iPhone and your Mac? My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys and I don't want you guys to miss these. Let's get right in today's video. Okay, so what you have to do is just install the latest beta on your Mac and on your iPhone. It actually works on the beta one of iOS 18 as well, but yeah, you have to be on iOS 18. And the thing is that you have to install the latest beta, that is the beta 2 of Mac OS. Mac OS 15 beta 2 brings in this new feature, which is probably one of my favorite features of Mac OS. And uh, let me know down in comments below what are your favorite features of new Mac OS 15, but this gotta be my favorite one. So after installing Mac OS 15 beta 2, you will be having this icon in the dock of your Mac and you have to just click on it. You will be greeted with welcome to iPhone mirroring. Then you have to click on continue. It won't show me because I have already set it up. Basically, it is a really smooth and easy process. You just have to click on continue twice and then you have to just wait, put in the passcode of your phone and you have to wait. It will take two, three seconds and your iphone simply will be mirrored on your macbook and it works flawlessly i mean see the frame rates are not as good as it should be i mean that's probably because i am using a 120 hertz promotion iphone i'm using iphone 14 pro and when i use my phone and then use the mirrored screen on my mac i noticed that there is a lot of animation lag and in general animation seems to be working a bit off sometimes the animations show up those look really cool same as your iphone but sometimes it just does not show up which kind of feels glitchy basically that is it you have to just be on the latest update and you will see this icon in the dock of your mac and click on it bam you will be able to use iPhone mirroring on your Mac. That's how easy it is and that is how flawlessly it works on your Mac. I have tried using it. I have been using it for the past couple of hours and it works amazing. I have not encountered any issues as such. I have even went ahead and played Minecraft of my phone on my Mac and that worked really great as well. So yeah, in short, it is really good update and I am kind of liking it. Let me know down in comments below what are your thoughts about it and the biggest thing that I am really happy about and why this is really useful for me is because you can now have all your iPhone notifications synced on your Mac because there have been times when I am away from my phone and I have to check my phone for notifications and all and I am away from my watch as well so yeah this is really handy and not only that you can even click on the notifications and it will take barely few seconds and it will launch the app and use it i have not noticed a severe battery drain on my phone because of the screen mirroring but yeah it definitely will impact the battery life a little bit but yeah, not that much. But still, I will be talking about it more about the battery life, how it is impacting the battery life and all, how has been my usage in the past couple of days uh, in my follow-up video, which will be up day after tomorrow. So look out for that. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. This is me, Jay, aka Tech Hyped, and I am signing off. Please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because it just motivates me to make more of these videos. Peace out and have a great day, everyone. Subscribe for more.